Hey everybody, this video today is about the question, are Austin homes overpriced and what is a buyer to do about that? Thanks for stopping by my channel and let me say if this is your first time to my channel, I hope that before you leave, you'll find the topic interesting and that you will subscribe, hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted and also hit that thumbs up because it helps others find uh, these videos as well. If you want to know everything there is to know about living in Austin, Leander, Cedar Park, you've come to the right place. I literally get calls and texts and emails almost every single day from people that are moving here and I absolutely love it. I'm Dan Forbes, broker at Forbes Realty. So if you're thinking about moving anywhere here in the North Austin area, Cedar Park, Leander, Liberty Hill, Pflugerville, Round Rock, Georgetown, I hope that you'll do something. Look down in the description below and you'll see how that you can call me, you can text me, you can send me an email. Heck, I don't care. Send me a carrier pigeon. I'll be happy to help. And remember always, I've got your back. But let's get into today's topic right now. So I received an email late last evening about an article on KXAN.com, which is a local station here. And the headline of the article refers to a study that shows that Austin is the second most overpriced housing market in the United States. So let's talk about that and talk about what buyers are to do in this kind of market. So the article refers to a study by the Florida Atlantic University that studied over, well, not over, but they studied 100 of the largest uh, housing markets and put together a, a list of whether those markets were overpriced and underpriced. And Austin came in as the number two most overpriced market in the United States compared to historical trends. So let's look a little deeper into that. So the article said, according to historical trends, that the median price of homes here in Austin should be right now about 347,000, but that the average price of a home in the Austin area right now is 573,000, which according to the researchers, uh, that indicates a 65% overpricing uh, scenario for the Austin market. And if you look on your screen right now, uh, it might be a little small print, but here's the list and here's the details of uh, the most overpriced markets in the U.S. right now. Boise City, Idaho comes in number one as being 76% overpriced. Austin, Texas, almost 65% overpriced. Ogden, Utah, 61%. And on and on, the list goes down, listing uh, a lot of homes across the nation and, and showing as a result of this study how that these researchers believe that the market here in Austin is overpriced. So remember this data is about real estate trends. So if homes were going up at a rate of 3% or 4% or 5%, let's say over a 10 year period of time, that's a trend. And then all of a sudden those homes go up uh, much higher exponentially, bucking that trend Using that model, you would conclude that Austin is overpriced. So for example, in Williamson County, which is just north of Travis County, uh, where the city of Austin resides, in Williamson County, right now, 22 prices, compared to 21, 2021 prices, homes are up over 42%. Now that's astronomical. That is an unsustainable pace. Uh, but that's the reality of where pricing is right now. So what has caused that? Well, the pandemic uh, has caused that. Uh, the fact that people can work remotely has caused that. Uh, remote workers can live anywhere they want, and so many of them want to live here in the Austin area. But the biggest driver of the uh, prices here in the Austin area has been supply versus demand. And that is we have so much more demand then we have homes available. That's true in new construction, and that is true also in resale construction. Now, does it mean that prices are going to just simply drop you know, by 50%? Is there gonna be you know, something that happens that, that uh, is going to cause that, and therefore buyers should sit on the sidelines? Well, we don't see any indication of that, but normally 
in a market like this where our prices have gone up, you know, 20, 25, 40% uh, in a year period of time, someone like myself would be advising uh, buyers maybe consider sitting on the sidelines for a while because prices, you know, most definitely are going to come down. But yet when you look at the Austin area, you know, it just seems to be different because we have so many people that want to move here. We have companies moving here, especially high tech companies. We have we have Samsung and Apple and Google and Tesla and Facebook and and so many companies are moving out of California and other places where homes are priced even higher than the Austin area. Those people are moving to Austin and the prices here still look like a bargain to them. But if you're coming from an area of lower priced homes, then uh, the prices here are going to look very high. So all things considered, it looks like over the next 10 years, we're still gonna be faced with this situation, uh, at least in the next few years of more demand than there is inventory available, which is going to continue to put upward pressure on prices. So what is a buyer to do? Well, you know, what are your choices? You could come to Austin and you could rent. Rents right now, rent prices are up about 30% over what they were last year. So it's harder and harder to rent. You could, um, uh, you could wait, I guess, but you know what happens if homes go up another 25% over the next 12 months? You know you'll wish then that you had bought now. Uh, what many buyers are doing, they're just going ahead and buying now, anticipating that prices are going to get higher and higher here in the Austin area. And then you throw in the fact that mortgage rates are going up. Right now, mortgage rates are about 5%, whereas the uh, fourth quarter of last year they were in the threes. So, you know, there's a saying, when is the best time to plant a tree? And the answer to that is 20 years ago or today. And when you think about the Austin housing market, you know, when is the best time to buy a house here in Austin? Well, it probably would have been a number of years ago, but the second best time still is right now because prices are still going up. There is nothing on the horizon short of some sort of economic catastrophe uh, that might make housing prices fall. We don't expect prices to fall. We expect them at the very least, if we get into a recession to maybe go flat, but you know, that just hasn't happened even in 2008 and nine, as a result of the national real estate crisis, the prices here in Austin uh, never went negative at all. They, they, they still kept going up, even though it was ever so, so slight. So, yeah, I mean, you can look at this study. I'll put a link in the description below and it will say based upon trends, prices here in Austin, you know, are just overpriced, but based upon what buyers are willing to pay,